Esselamu Aleyküm ve Rahmetullahi ve Berekatuhu. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart. I thank and praise Allah Ta'ala countless times that one more time as we praise Allah, we are all together at the discourse from the heart. Unity with Allah. For human beings to experience happiness is based on that. Either you have a unity with Allah and you become happy or you do not. Everything starts with the wish to reach Allah. Individual who is willing to render his spirit to Allah as he is still living the life of this world steps into sea of happiness. If that wish is in the heart, as soon as the wish is in the heart, Allah Ta'ala hears, knows and sees that wish immediately. And Allah Ta'ala treats that individual accordingly. Allah Ta'ala puts the love of Murshid, religious guide, in the heart of that individual. Then the individual will be willing to take a pledge of allegiance to that Murshid right away. And as a result of that willing, the individual will perform necessity prayer and ask a murshid, religious guide, directly from Allah. To the individual who wish to reach Allah, it is not possible Allah not to show the murshid to such an individual. And if that individual has seven to eight months of a lifespan, Allah certainly delivers that spirit back to himself. In other words, the individual becomes a saint as he sent his spirit back to Allah. As soon as the individuals wish to reach Allah, they become the saint of Allah. They have such an honor. In Turkish, we use evliya in singular because it is used in that way. Otherwise, the singular form of that is veli. Evliya is plural. Yet in colloquial language, we use evliya in a singular form. My dear brothers and sisters, what is it that Allah wants from us? Why did Allah Ta'ala create human beings? Well, Allah Ta'ala wants only one thing as human beings for us to be happy. Allah Ta'ala wants the same thing from jinn as well. Allah wants jinn to be happy as well. Allah Ta'ala's purpose of creating every single thing is for their own happiness and joy. Allah is the creator. In every creation, there are so many things that we do not know and we cannot even comprehend as a human being. We can only comprehend them as much as Allah wants us and gives that comprehension to us. Allah Ta'ala wants everyone to be happy. It is Allah who created human beings, willing those human beings to experience happiness and joy. And happiness doesn't take place for free, unfortunately. 
Mutluluğun bedeli ödenecektir. Everybody has to pay for their joy and happiness. Then what is it that I'm telling you right now? My dear brothers and sisters, the concept of happiness and joy, peace, prosperity. that can only take place at the end of a relationship with Allah. That is the reward that you receive due to that. Whomever makes the wish to reach Allah, Allah delivers that spirit back to himself. Clearly Allah Ta'ala says, whomever wishes to reach me, and the meaning of that is whoever wishes to render their spirit back to me before death, because what can return back to Allah and reach Allah physically is the spirit of Allah which stays with us as Allah blows into us during our birth. And Allah Ta'ala wants his spirit back before our death for that individual to be able to consider a saint. In other words, for individuals to be able to send that spirit back to their owner to become a friend of Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, everything is so wonderful. When we take a look at the concepts, we realize that Allah Ta'ala created everything for our own happiness and joy. Every other creature is the means for human beings' happiness and joy. Creatures that Allah loves the most are the human beings. Simply because Allah Ta'ala rewarded only human beings blowing into them from His own Spirit. The jinn have their own Rasuls, messengers. They also go through cleansing and purification of their soul, but they do not have their spirits. There is only one creature on the face of the earth that is blown a spirit directly from Allah, and that is human being. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, feel the joy and happiness of being a human being. Make the wish to reach Allah and have the ship start to its voyage. Then you will find your murshid. You will take a pledge of allegiance to him. Then your spirit will certainly leave your physical body and will join the group of spirits that are on their journey towards Allah. They will go through 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th of the heavens, all together, one at a time. It will go through 7 worlds of the 7th of the heavens. Those seven worlds will be experienced one at a time. And at the seventh of the worlds within zikr cells, in those spherical crystals which are transparent, the spirit will complete its zikr. His zikr will be increased within those spheres on a daily basis. 
after the amount of zikr is completed, spirit will get to Sidrat al Muntaha. And from that tree, at the end point of existence, it will ascend to Allah that is in Ilim. Allah is in Ilim. That's what he says. Spirit will reach Allah and will disappear in Allah. What happened is, as Allah asked the spirit he blown in back to himself before death, and based on the individuals wishing to reach Allah, the spirit is delivered back to Allah by Allah himself. If the individual didn't wish, such a journey would have never taken place. There are two functional cases during the lifetime of an individual. One, the individual fulfills what Allah commands and gains positive degrees. Or in case Allah prohibits something and the individual can use his free will in a positive way and stays away from that. At the beginning, since the soul is full of vices, he will be willing to do what Allah, what Allah prohibits. If the individual can stop from that, will gain positive degrees. He will also gain positive degrees what Allah commands. What is it that Allah commands? Spirit to return back to Allah as the individual is still living the life of this world. Allah Ta'ala wants that spirit to be submitted back to him. Is that all? Not at all. That is not it. For those who submit their spirit back to Allah, Allah wants them to submit their physical bodies to Allah. For those who submit their physical bodies, Allah Ta'ala wants them to submit their soul to Allah. For those who submit their soul, Allah wants them to submit their free will. Spirit, physical body, soul, and free will. Submission of all these mean the individual to get to Irshad post. My dear brothers and sisters, each one of them refers to higher and higher and higher level of happiness. Life in this world in great joy is for those who submit their spirit, physical body, soul and free will to Allah. And that's what exactly Allah wants. Allah wants everyone to be happy. And the doors are wide open for every individual. Whenever people go through these doors and submit their spirits, physical bodies, souls and free wills, they experience happiness and joy. But why do people do not do that? Because there is an obstacle. Satan's. In order to keep people away from commands of Allah, they do anything and everything. They imitate our own inner voice and they try to control us as it is our own voice. With all their power try to eliminate human spirits returning back to Allah before death. Allah 
Yet Allah Ta'ala promises to help all people to render their spirits back to Allah. Allah Ta'ala says, you make the wish and I'll deliver the spirit back to myself. As human beings, for us to make the wish to reach Allah before death is the concept. And for that concept to take place is beyond us. Because Allah takes that as a responsibility to Himself. And certainly delivers the spirits if the people make the wish to reach Allah. Allah is all knowing, all seeing, all hearing. What is it that Allah knows? Knows everything what we know in physical standards. Allah knows what's in our heart. Even in our thinking, nobody can hide anything from Allah. That is not a possibility. Including our thinking, Allah knows everything. Knows and prepares a conclusion to the person according to that. If the individual is truly willing to reach Allah, Allah will certainly see that wish in his heart and Allah certainly delivers that spirit back to himself. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, everything has been designed perfectly as you get closer. Your comprehension expands. As your comprehension expands, you comprehend more things even beyond the physical world. As you comprehend, your love towards Allah increases and increases and increases and you fall in love with Allah. Based on that love, Allah increases your zikr. An increase of your zikr will bring you to the point of continuous zikr one day. After continuous zikr, your love towards Allah will be even beyond that and you admire Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, during this time, Satan will not stop, of course. Your efforts on the path of Allah will extremely bother him. He doesn't want anyone to render the spirit back to Allah before death. Because of that reason, all those who wish to reach Allah and take a pledge of allegiance to a murshid are his enemies. And for them not to deliver their spirits back to Allah, he does anything and everything. But there is nothing he can do in that regard. If the individual made the wish to reach Allah, Satan to be successful is not possible. Why not? Because Allah Ta'ala has a promise. Whoever wishes to reach me, I deliver them to myself, says Allah Ta'ala. Therefore, as human beings, our duty is to make the wish to render the spirit back to Allah before death. Allah Ta'ala commissions himself to fulfill that. Whoever wishes to reach Allah, it is Allah delivering those spirits back to Himself. It is Allah. Allah Ta'ala loves human beings so much that just like they fulfill that journey, rewards them in return. Making the wish to reach Allah is the first stage. Pledge of allegiance to Amr is the second stage. With that, spirit leaves the physical body. 
from that point on, if the individual has seven to eight m- months of a lifespan, the spirit returns back to Allah. Well, for that, individual needs to do zikr. He needs to do certain amount of zikr. He needs to fulfill his religious services, such as performing prayers. First, the individual will do five times of prayers. Then Allah will give such a joy of performing prayers. The individual will also fulfill shuruk and tahajjud. On top of five. Then prayers will be parallel to systems of seven according to Quran. As you know, spiritual journey takes place within seven stages, wishing to reach Allah, pledge of allegiance to a murshid, spirit to return back to Allah, submission of physical body to Allah, four, submission of soul to Allah, five, becoming a muhlis one, pure one, six, submitting free will to Allah, seven, that is all. And according to these seven stages, spirit, physical body, soul, and free will submit to Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, valued audience, Allah'ın bütün insanları mutlaka Bu hedefe ulaştırmak. And Allah Teala wants all people to get to this point. This is the purpose of Allah. İnsanlar hangi ölçüde bunu gerçekleştirmek isterlerse but whatever the willing of the people in regards to fulfilling this, that's how much they receive. In other words, the willing of the individual and level of Allah's help are always parallel and equal to each other. The individual who is willing more, Allah will help more to that individual. The others will not receive such a blessing because they are not asking for it. Therefore, ask from Allah. Dear audience, then you will see Then Allah will certainly fulfill your willing and add you to the group of happy people. What else can be better in this world than happiness and joy, my dear brothers and sisters? Try to explain to the people around you for them to make the wish to reach Allah. Your salvation is not enough. For every individual who saves himself from hellfire with the wish to reach Allah, Allah Ta'ala certainly gives them the highest level of happiness and wants all people to go through the same level of happiness and joy. Therefore, these people should explain the beautiful notions of Allah in a sweet manner for them to go through the same path. My dear brothers and sisters, the more people you can save from hell, the more Allah will love you. And Allah's love will certainly add to your happiness and joy. You will be happier, happier and happier of an individual as the passenger on the path of Allah. You submit your spirit to Allah while it is not actually what you do, you only make the wish and Allah takes care of that. And your spirit submits to Allah. But other stages will be considered as a steep hell. 
because your zikr level has to be multiplied in gratitudes. For you to be able to submit your soul, you have to be in continuous zikr. And getting to continuous zikr, as those who got to there very well know, is not an easy task. My dear brothers and sisters, yet Allah Ta'ala loves you and wants you to be happy and joyous. Allah takes care of everything that will make you happy and joyous. What Allah wants from you is for you to deserve it, for you to deserve to get to His highest level of help. And that starts with a wish, wishing to reach Allah before death. If that wish is truly in your heart, Allah Ta'ala will certainly see that and immediately make His move. That's enough for Allah to see that in your heart. And it will be Allah delivering the spirit back to himself before your death. will give you the love of murshid. Once you perform necessity, prayer will show you your murshid. And will give you the love of murshid towards that individual. You will find him and take a pledge of allegiance to him. And you're going to progress on the path of Allah, my dear brothers and sisters. Everything is so wonderful. So wonderful. It is not possible to describe. Of course, you remember the Ashar Kemal right away. My dear brothers and sisters, Of course, Allah's design is always magnificent. I admire Allah. Nothing beyond that. To like, to love, to fall in love, and to admire. My dear brothers and sisters, there are always two kinds of people on the face of the world and the number of those who are unhappy are more than those who are happy because majority of the people do not know rules and regulations of Allah and they have no clue about Allah's prescription of happiness. Everybody is willing to be happy, but not everybody are happy. For example, without making the wish to reach Allah, it is not possible to become happy and joyous. Happiness has to take place within the inner world has to take place in the exterior world with other people and happiness in our relations with Allah. It has to take place in all three aspects. Either you become a happy individual or you do not. Why majority of the people are unhappy? Because they are not willing to become mulaki to Allah. In other words, they are not willing to render their spirits back to Allah as they are still living the life of this world. My dear brothers and sisters, actually everything is so wonderful. If you see the heavens once, seven of the heavens, And you will admire Allah as well. After continuous zikr, once you submit your free will to Allah, you get the last vision. 
And you see Allah Himself. Then you become one of the happiest people who are truly happy in the world to see Allah Himself. Maybe then you will sing the same song. Is everything so wonderful? Or is it me feeling this way? That song. My dear brothers and sisters, now I have a question for each and every one of you. Instead of being happy, why are people unhappy? Allah is ready to make you happy. But Satan managed to make people forget the paths to happiness and joy. During time of Ottomans, we realized that all people, all pioneers were in Tasawwuf. Army was in different path of Tasawwuf. Members of palace are in a different one. Workers are in a different... They are all in different groups, but they are the ones who are submitting their spirits, physical bodies, souls, and free wills to Allah. They are just busy doing that. Within the Ottomans, let it be army members, let it be merchants, In both, wishing to reach Allah was the most important thing as part of their life. For the Janissaries, those who didn't take a pledge of allegiance, they couldn't join. Those who will start as a laborer to any place without a pledge of allegiance, for them it wouldn't be possible to start. Without spirits returning back to Allah, they couldn't be a master. Without continuous seeker, they couldn't be an expert. Throughout the development time of the Ottomans, pretty much all pioneers were in Tasabuf, in Sufism. My dear brothers and sisters, then instead of being happy, why unhappiness? Well, we are going through a new era. But still, majority of the people are unhappy in the world. Because people have forgotten Tasawwuf, especially in our country. To forget Tasawwuf means to forget happiness and joy. That's why they're all unhappy. People think that if they make more money, they will be happier. I would like everyone to make so much money and realize that making money wouldn't make them happy and for them to choose true path of Allah. Without cleansing of the soul, the individual cannot even have half of the world happiness. If there is no purification, there is no complete happiness. Cleansing of the soul is eliminating 51% of the vices out of the soul's heart. Within that ascending towards Allah, with every 7% glory accumulation in the soul's heart, makes that spirit go one heaven level higher. Along with 2% mercy accumulation that takes place initially, and with every 7%, the spirit goes one level higher. Ruhun, 
And based on that ascending, the happiness of the individual will also increase. Because the glories in the soul's heart will be increasing 7% at a time. Till the spirit reaches Allah, spirit will go through seven of the heavens. That will be seven times seven percent virtue accumulation, and along with two percent mercy accumulation that took place at the beginning, which is Rahmah, mercy, and the remaining forty-nine percent will be virtues, puzzles. What will accumulate in the soul's heart up to 98% are the puzzles, virtues. Two percent mercy is the infantry. Initial power accumulates in the soul's heart. And 98% virtues, which is first seven times 7%, 49 and second 7 times 7% will be 249% will be 98%. It is not 100%, therefore Allah Ta'ala sends 2% mercy initially into that heart to make total to be 100%. Everybody who gets to continue sicker, they are the ones who have 100% glories in their soul's heart. And they become one of the happiest people in this world. My dear brothers and sisters, as you start living for Allah, you will realize that other people will consider you as an enemy. And that's only natural. They will be attacked more as friends of Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, Satan will try to promote enmity for everyone he can control towards the friends of Allah. And he tries to do that with all his power. Those who are closest to Allah are the ones that Satan is more upset with. The one who is closest to Allah right now is the Imam of the time and Satan is most upset with him. And those who have troubles in their hearts and at the beginning everybody has trouble in their hearts because darkness is covering the entire heart for such people. Cleansing of the soul's heart is Glory is coming from Allah after 2% mercy with the first 7% virtue accumulation. Spirit goes from ground level to the first of the heavens. With the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh of the heavens, that would be more 7% glory accumulation. Once the spirit returns back to Allah, 7 times 7% virtue accumulation, which is 49%, and with 2% mercy that took place, in the heart initially that will be 51% glory accumulation in the soul's heart darknesses will be only 49% as they were 100% initially after that will be the submission of physical body and submission of soul then the individual will be a muhlis one pure one then will submit free will to Allah to live in such a world means to go through higher and higher and higher level of happiness. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the life that is to be accepted to the world of happiness as Allah commands. Whoever wishes to become mulaki to Allah is the one who put the first step. Allah will give the individual love of murshid after pledge of allegiance, the individual will go through cleansing of the soul. 
the individual will have 51% glories until the soul's heart will have continued sicker and will be filled with glories of Allah 100%. And that is exactly what happiness and joy is, my dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart. Asking Allah to grant upon you infinite happiness, asking that from the Almighty, and finish my statements praying for each and every one of you, inshallah.